It's December 23rd. And it's no coincidence that you're seeing this pretty face yet again on your screen. See, this should be a day of jubilation. We're seven days-ish removed from the end of the year. It's a time where everybody's reflecting on what they've done. But today, in particular, is special to me. December 23rd, 2012, is when a 17-year-old Andy Hendricks made his wrestling debut. <laughs> and what a journey it's been since. I could reel off all my accomplishments, but I think they pretty much speak for themselves. So why is it that I'm not in a better mood right now? See, I should be sat somewhere with a, with a pretty honey and a drink in my hand, and I should be toasting to this amazing career. But you see, every single time I think of one of the accolades that I've had in the last decade, whether it be teaming with the likes of the Ultimo Dragon, beating Ethan Page, not once but twice, and every single championship that I've won. Why aren't I toasting to those accomplishments? Well, I'll tell you why. Two simple words, Red Eagle. As I look back on my career, easily 50% of that time, if not more, has been dominated by me Training with a Red Eagle, being a friendly rival to begin with, until things turned a bit sour here in CTW. This, this was supposed to represent my liberation from that. See, I naively thought I was going to take this and be a true fighting European champion. I was going to go to France, Belgium, Italy. I was going to be the European champion. No, the champion that CTW deserved. But, ironically enough, this has been nothing more than an anchor because at every single turn, CTW management, Red Eagle himself, David Curl, everybody has made an effort to make sure that Eagle doesn't get away from me. So I'll tell you what, I'll give you what you want. The show's already been announced for February 19th, so Red, let's face it, this has gone on long enough between you and I, so I'm bringing it to an end. But it's not going to be enough for it to just be for this. No, I'm up in the stakes. What we're going to have on February 19th is what I'm calling a double stakes death match. If I win, and believe me, I will win, you're going to take your mask off, show everyone your face, and you're going to leave CTW forever. Now, I'm a reasonable man. You've worked tremendously hard throughout your career. Not only at wrestling, but also at networking. So we have SOS Wrestling, we have Heat Up in Japan. You're more than welcome to go there. You cultivated those partnerships, you take advantage of them. But CTW is mine. If, and that's a big if, I were to lose. You get the belt, that goes without saying. But you also get this. You get to shave this, which has been so synonymous with my career and the 10 years that I've been going at this now. Red, this all comes to an end. February 19th, death match. One more time, me and you. <laughs>